Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. How are you doing, Mr. Mr. Gomez? How are you today? I am fine. Excellent. Good to know. Good to know. What about the rest of the people? Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Hello, fine. Thank you, Roxana. Nice, nice to listen to you. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss Guzman. How are you doing? Fine. And you? I'm doing great. I feel happy to be working with you again. So it's a good day. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. What about the rest of the people? Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome to the video conference. I appreciate on your punctuality. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, perfect. For today, as you know, we continue with, with the practice and also we have more information to cover. So for that reason, I am going, we're going to have more speaking practice and a short explanation to continue checking on our progress. All right. Are you ready for today's class, people? Yes, no. Are you ready? Do you have energy with a lot of energy? Estamos listos con energía for today's class? Yes, teacher. Yes. Sí. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Yes, thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your confirmation. All right. Let's let me see at this time. We are going to check on attendance. You know, that is one of the first elements that we check. So in the meantime, that people probably incorporate, we are going to check on attendance. Also, just the reminder to continue working for the platform. Remember, you have access to the platform and it is 24 seven. So you have access anytime like a like an atm right it's available está disponible como que fuera cajero automático right 24 7 24 7 so let's take advantage of that right así que tomemos ventaja de esa herramienta que tenemos para siempre seguir progresando y, al, y para alcanzar nuestra meta okay I am going to start checking on the attendance at this moment so when you listen to your name Please remember to make a verbal confirmation that you are part of the video conference. <clears throat> Let me check on my document. All right. Let me see. Okay. Let's get started with this information at this moment. Carlos Luis Cervano. Carlos Luis Cervano. Probably not at this moment. I continue. Carlos Roberto Nerio. Hello, hello. Carlos Roberto Nerio. Not at this moment, probably. All right, let me see. Um, I need your collaboration, please, 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 everyone. Before we continue, I need your collaboration to include the complete name, please. Remember, that is part of the information people reminded you in the WhatsApp group. Nada más pedirle su colaboración nuevamente. Ahora mis compañeros se comunicaron con ustedes en el grupo de WhatsApp solicitándoles, por favor, su colaboración con el uso del nombre dentro de la plataforma. Yo sé que este tiene dos nombres y dos apellidos, así que le voy a pedir que por favor modifique la información y pongamos su nombre completo, ¿verdad? La mayoría tenemos eso. Pero, por ejemplo, eh, Georgina Guzmán, me hace falta un nombre, me hace, una, me hace falta un apellido. Guadalupe Soriano, de los usuarios que veo acá, solo veo ese nombre, no está completo. Así que requiero su colaboración, por favor. Uh, Luis Gómez, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, Yesenia Morales, also. Necesito su colaboración, por favor, que pueda modificar en estos momentos su nombre para que en el registro quede desde ahora ya su nombre completo. Así que si puede modificarlo, lo apreciaría mucho y si es necesario salir rapidito y entrar para resetear, ¿verdad? reiniciar esa solicitud de nombre, les pido por, por favor su colaboración. 
Ok, I continue with the attendance. Continuar con asistencia. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Francisco Isaac Sánchez. Thank you. Gabriel Esther Ponce. Present teacher. Georgina Ivania Present. Guzmán. Georgina Ivania. Hi. Thank you so much with the microphone. Thank you, thank you. Como mi asistencia, teacher. Yes, Gabriela Esther. Sí, yes, yes, okay. yes. Right, thank you. Senaida Esterly González. Esterly González. Probably not at this moment. Guadalupe Lisset Soriano. Present. Thank you so much. Yvonne Emelina Avilés. Present. Thank you so much. Jacqueline Talcarrillo. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. All right, I continue. Jose Luis Gomez Guevara. Present. Thank you. Jose Moises Paz Chavarria. Present. Thank you. Jose Roberto Ruiz Duarte. Jose Roberto Ruiz Duarte. Okay, continue. Jose Roberto Vázquez Jiménez. Present. Juan Francisco González Hernández. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Thank you so Present. much. Thank you so much for your confirmation. Julio Cesar Hernández Vázquez. Julio Cesar Hernández Vázquez. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Karina Ivonne Linares de Figueroa. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Mercedes Hernández Hernández. Carla Mercedes Hernández Hernández. No le Present. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar Rodríguez. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar Rodríguez. All right, I continue. Lucila Patricia Quintero Romero. Present teacher. Madeline Seth Montalbán Miranda. Present. Thank you so much. Margarita Lizeth Medina. Margarita Lizeth Medina. Not at this Present. moment. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Marvin Alberto Calderón Errarte. Marvin Alberto Calderón Errarte. All right, I continue. Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez Bautista. Present. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez Silva. Present. Thank you. Roxana Patricia López de Anzora. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sara Nalda Guzmán Cubillas. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Senia Patricia Hernández López. Present. Thank you. Jancy María Jacobo Alvarado. Jancy María Jacobo Alvarado. Probably not at this time. And finally, have Yesenia Elizabeth Morales García. Presentation. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> thank you so much for your collaboration. And thank you so much for checking on the names. I appreciate your help really much. All right. Thank you so much.
Muchas gracias a los, eh, a los compañeros que vi que ya cambiaron su nombre. Les agradezco mucho, recordando que es uno de los requisitos que se nos solicita siempre tener nuestro nombre completo en la plataforma. Eso es para los registros, ¿verdad? Para los registros de asistencia que se generan para evitar cualquier problema que de repente alguien se llame igual, comparta un nombre, un apellido y al final no se sepa de quién es la asistencia o el récord que nosotros obtenemos. Así que muchas gracias por su colaboración. At this moment, let me check on my information so we can get started. Let me see. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. We check on session number six. At this moment, are you able to see my presentation? I need your confirmation. Can you see the presentation at this moment? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate your confirmation. Yes. Have... Thank you. Thank yes, you. Thank teacher. you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today we have session number six for the beginner module. All right. Let me check on this one. We're going to begin with some review about yesterday's class. We check on some information. All right. At this moment, we continue. At this moment, I am going to show you some elements that are not in order, right? We take a look at the information on the screen and our responsibility, our task is to order the elements to discover the correct version of the sentence. At this moment, we are going to remember yes and no questions. We do the first one as an example. Let me show it to you. We have different elements, for example, from, you, San Miguel, are, and finally, the necessary element, the question mark. Okay, those are the elements. They are not in order. From, you, San Miguel, are. Tell me, people, and I need your collaboration. What is the correct yes, no question for this information on the screen? Are you from San Miguel? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. You are from San Miguel. In this, it could be possible. You are from San Miguel is the affirmative, but for the presence of the yes no question, for the, sorry, for the question mark, we need to create a question. All right. Just for that one. In este caso, porque tenemos en el elemento el, el signo de interrogación, por eso nos da un indicio que debemos tomar una pregunta. Y recordamos ayer, the inversion of question, right? Yes, no questions, there is an inversion. Si recordamos la sesión de ayer, el, las oraciones en afirmativo sí inician subject, verb, and complement. Entonces pudiéramos decir, yes. you are from San Miguel, afirmativo. But in question, there is an inversion, a change in order. Recuerden que en preguntas de sí o no, con el verbo to be, solo cambiamos el orden de los elementos. Entonces mencionamos, are you from San Miguel? And then we have the question, All right? Thank you. That was the practice. Now, at, or the example. At this moment, we continue working on some info. Take a look at my next information. All of them are questions. Todos van a ser preguntas de yes or no. That is to remember, right? So remember on the information. Take a look at this one. Name, your is Juan. What should be the order? What's your name? What's your name, Juan? Perfect, perfect. Is your name Juan? Thank you. Perfect, perfect. That's correct. That's a good question. Is your name Juan? Thank you. Let's check on the next one, please. Your rock is music favorite. What should be the question? Is your, your rock music favorite? All right. Is thank you. Your mm -hmm. rock favorite music. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the participations. Thank you. Thank you. Check on this one. We discover the question should be: Is rock your favorite music? Right? Is rock your favorite music? 
Thank you. That should be the order for this question. Take a look at the next one. I guess we have more information. Take a look at this one. We have a lot of elements. And in this one, we say in, happy, you, English, class, are, Wait a minute. are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me, what should be the correct version? <laughs> Are you happy in Are you happy English in the English class? Yes, I am. Excellent. Good question Thank and good you. answer. Thank <laughs> you. Perfect. Thank you. You see, good compliment, correct question, and the best answer. Thank you. The question should be: Are you happy in the English Thank class? You. Right? Are you happy in the English class? And I am going to ask some people. Ever, Ever Cabrera. Check. Hello, hello. I need help with the microphone. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Take check on the microphone, people, people. Please, please, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget to check on the microphone. Eh? Solo solicitarles de favor estar pendiente de su micrófono. Porque su, los micrófonos son tan avanzados, cualquier tipo de micrófono, que capta hasta el menor sonido, aunque usted no crea. Eh? Usted no lo percibe, pero nosotros sí lo escuchamos. Ahí sí se está rascando el, el brazo, ya lo escuchamos. Crean. Ah, no, no tampoco así. Pero sí tiene, capta bastante sonido, así que tenga cuidado, please, por favor. Nah. Recuerde que tenemos mucho sonido ambiente y eso tratamos de evitarlo para no tener mucha interferencia. Thank you. Uh, Ever, Alexander Cabrera, the question: Are you happy in the English class? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. What's your answer? Yes, I am. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. Francisco Sanchez, what about you? Are you happy in the English class? Yes, I am. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Going back, right? Going back to this one so we can have a speaking practice. Uh, let's see. Lucila Quinteros, is rock your favorite music? No. In this case, no, it isn't it no it isn't so no it isn't isn't thank you so much perfect in this type of questions we respond with it right because we are talking about something and something is the type of music en este tipo de preguntas respondemos como estamos preguntando acerca de algo verdad de si rock es su música favorita in this case we say it el pronombre que lo sustituye o que sustituye la idea sería it, no sería I am, porque si no le digo, es rock tu, tu música favorita, sí, yo soy, yes, I am, not yes, possible, right? It yes, it is, that's correct, Miss Gabriela, thank you, yes, it is, or the negative, no, it isn't, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's continue ordering sentence, right? I guess I have, all right, that was the last question. I have other questions for you. All right, let me see on this one. We continue checking on this information and for this one. Mr. Mr. Jose Paz Chavarria, is your name Juan? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see on a lady. I will choose a lady to participate at this moment. Uh, Na Jacqueline Natalia, Miss Jacqueline Natalia, listen to my question. Voy a variar un poco la pregunta a como usted la tiene en pantalla. Is, let me see, let me check on this one. Is your last name Ochoa? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Not isn't. No, it isn't. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mr. Jose Vasquez. Jose Vasquez. Is your name Alexander? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. We continue with more information. This is just to remember the yes and no questions. Thank you so much for your participation. At this moment, we are going to check on the numbers. That is part of, of some information for the platform. We have the numbers and also we talk about age. That is the use that we can have 
for the numbers. At this moment, uh, I will read the first part of the numbers and you listen to this one. We have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. What is the next one, people? After 23, what is the next one? I need your help. Necesito su ayuda también. 24. Next one. 25. 30. Thank you so much. And the next one, we'll go for 40. 103. Thank you. That's correct. Thank you so much for your collaboration. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. I will just double check in on this one. Listen, please. 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then we continue 100. In this case, 101, that, that word N is optional. You can say 101, 102, or the option 102. In this case, it could be possible, right? It could be possible to express ideas and talking about the numbers, right? At this moment, because this is the information for numbers, let's think about a good use of this information. And for the numbers, we can ask this question, hey, how old are you? And in this one, we make use of the numbers. What is the possible answer? If I ask you the question, how old are you? Tell me, what is a possible answer? Anybody to participate? My age I is am 40 years old. All right. Oh, 30 years old. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank 50, you, thank you, thank you. 50. All right, thank 56 you. 56 year old. Thank you, mister. Thank you so much for your participation. In this case, when the person asks you, how old are you? The possible answer or the correct version for this one should be in this format. I am, you mentioned the number, and you include years old. I am years old. That should be the answer. In Spanish, we have we use a different expression in Spanish, right? Okay. And if we think about translation, translation sometimes is not good. Because you say, what is the verb to express my age? And probably you think, I have. Not possible to say I have. That is, that is a literal translation from Spanish. So check on that one. Watch out for that one. All right. Nada más el comercial por ahí para que nos quede un poquito claro. Cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma, a veces nosotros tendemos a traducir porque así le encontramos sentido a lo que estamos escuchando o a lo que vamos a expresar. Siempre buscamos, tratamos eso de encontrarle sentido a lo que yo digo. Y muchas veces las traducciones no son correctas. Es más adecuado entender el equivalente de lo que yo quiero decir en inglés Pueda que la frase sea más corta o sea la idea más larga en comparación a, al español. En Spanish, how do you say? ¿Cómo reportamos la edad? Si yo le digo, hey, dígame su edad, ¿cómo lo reportaría usted en español? Uh -huh. 25 años. All right. tengo yo tengo, exacto, utilizamos el verbo tener. Y si usted dice, ah, yo tengo, porque así lo decimos en español, ¿verdad? Y usted busca en equivalente y busca el traductor. Verbo tener le va a decir have, have. el verbo have. Pero have es de posesión, ¿verdad? Right? Posesión de objeto, pero no para reportar la edad. En ese caso, nosotros utilizamos el verbo to be. Por eso el formato que ven en rojito utiliza el verbo to be. I am, mencionamos el número, years old, ¿verdad? Right? 
at this moment, I need the collaboration of one person. And let me see, I need the collaboration of Zeneida Esterli Gonzalez. Formulate the question to me. La pregunta que vemos en rosado, Miss Zeneida, necesito que me la diga y que me la pregunte a mí. Yo le voy a responder with my personal information. Thank you. How old you are you? How, one more time. How old are you? How old are you? Thank you. I am 15 years old. Well. And everybody, oh, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, people. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> and, uh, you see? and everybody like, what? No, no, no. That is false. Information falsa para ver si teníamos la idea de los números, ¿va? Thank you, thank you. Not 15, right? O tal vez le hubiera dicho 50, 50. A veces la pronunciación es ciertos sonidos son diferentes y nos tenemos a confundir, right? Uh, to be honest with you, I am... How old do you think well, I am? Okay. ¿Cuántos años crees que, que tengo? Lo utilizamos, well. you are, ¿verdad? Utilizamos el verbo to be. You are, el número, y me dicen years old, right? Any volunteer to guess? You are... George, 28, 28 years old. You are 34 years old. 34, yes. Any volunteers? Tell me. Turn on your microphone and tell me. Give, give me a, give a guess, please. Traten de adivinar y cuéntenme. Alguien encienda su micrófono y sin pena. You are... You are... 27. You are 41. All right. You, you are. Thank you. you are. Thank you so much. Let me show you. Let me tell you the correct answer for this one. I you am are 32 are years old. I am 32 years old. That's my age, right? That's 31. All. No more, no. right? 32. 32. That's my age. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see. Can you listen? Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. Yes. All right, perfect. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Now, at this moment, we are going to ask the question to different people in the class so we can practice. At uh, this moment, let me ask a person and let me see on my list of students. Thank you. I am going to ask Milagro de los Ángeles. Milagro, how old are you? Si usted no quiere decir su edad, yo lo comprendo. Usted puede variar. Dígame otro número. Al final nadie nos va, nadie nos va a ir a, a revisar si es cierto. El DUI va a decir, a ver si es cierto. No problem, right? Invente su número. Lo, que, lo importante es la práctica. How old are you? I am, I am 12, 5 years old. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for your participation. Uh, let's see, Roxana Patricia Lopez, tell me how old are you? I am. <laughs> no, no, I, invent that again. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> 14. 14? Yes, all. 14? Wow, 14 or 40? <laughs> 46. 46, all right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. No, Dicen que es malo preguntarle a, unas, a, a alguien, una señorita, ¿verdad? Preguntarle la edad, ¿verdad? Y va a disculpar, pero es por la práctica. Como le digo, si no quiere darle edad, mi otro número, no problem, no problem. Thank you. I, I am going to need the collaboration of a person. And I need, let's see, Carlos Roberto Nerio. Tell me, Carlos Roberto, how old are you? I am 43 years old. 43 years old. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. And let's see, Mr. 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 Francisco Sanchez, tell me, how old are you? I am 42 years old. Hey, thank you. The same. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The perfect age, right? Estamos en la juventud. Thank you, thank you. I am going to ask another person uh, to participate on this one because I see that there is a, a young lady. Thank you. Madeline Lisette Montalban, tell me, how old are you? I am 
I am 25. 25, okay. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Madeline, choose one classmate from the class and make the same question. We continue with the practice. En ese momento, usted escoge a alguien de la clase y le formula la misma pregunta. How old are you? And the person responds. Thank you, Madeline. Continue with the practice. Hey, Jose Luis. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I am 40 years old. Really? Really, Jose Luis? Thank you. Wow, you look young. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Ahí me cuenta el secreto que lo vemos bien joven. Por lo menos yo lo veo bastante <laughs> joven. Y yo que ya soy menor y ya soy todo canoso. <laughs> thank you, all right. Thank you. Jose Luis, choose other person and ask the same question, please. Okay. Um, Lucila. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I am 55 years old. All right. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, Lucila. We finish on practice at this moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We continue with more info. I appreciate that. Remember the model? How old are you? And you respond. If you talk about the report of the age of other person, it is only necessary to change the verb to be. For example, my friend, Carlos, he is... 40 years old, the same format, different subject, different verb to be, depending on the person, right? Si vamos a reportar la edad de alguien más, utilizamos el mismo orden de las palabras, pero cambiamos el sujeto, dependiendo a quién nos refiramos, y utilizamos el verbo to be acorde al sujeto, ¿verdad? He is, she is, talking about the pet, right? Talking about the dog, wow, wow. It is one year old, right? Si hablamos de una mascota, un perrito, tiene un año, ¿verdad? Right? Es de un año de edad. Sería como la traducción aproximada del inglés, right? It is one year old. It's possible to express ideas in that form. Before we move on to the next section, is there any question about this information? Questions, questions? Doubts? No. At this moment? Entonces, si preguntaría uh, por mi hermana, digamos, ¿cuántos años tiene? ¿Cómo sería? All right. Thank you. Good question. Let me change on this one. Let me get my annotations. If you are talking about that information, in this case, we can say how, sorry, how old is my sister? Right? If you're asking in this way, if you have a conversation, right? Because this is like a question for yourself. Si incluye la pregunta, how old is my sister? Es como que yo le pregunto a alguien más, como tratar de adivinar, por darle un ejemplo, right? Hey, how old is my sister? She is 15 years old, right? Pero si yo, le, yo tengo la duda y yo quiero preguntar acerca de su hermana, el, eh, cierta información debería variar. And the question should be like this. How old, let's see, how old is your sister? Lo que cambiaría sería el adjetivo posesivo porque de quién es la hermana, right? Mi hermana o su hermana. That should be the only different element in this case, right? But we change the same format. How old is fixed, right? The same, how old, that is beginning. And in the rest, you change on the verb to be. How old is she? How old are you? How old is he? You can use proper names, right? Usted puede utilizar nombres propios también. How old is Juanito? How old is Carmen? Right? Proper names. He or she. How old is the dog? Right? How old is your computer? Podemos hablar de objeto, ¿verdad? Que ¿Qué dado? ¿Cuánto tiempo hace que la tiene? How old, right? How old? And also, we can talk about, in groups of people, it's possible. How old are they? Right? ¿Cuál es la edad de ellos? Y mencionamos ahí, vamos variando nada más el verbo to be, pero el formato se mantendría. ¿Eh? 
I don't know if that is that was clear, Miss Madeline. No sé si eso clarifica un poco su duda. Sí, perfecto. All right. All right. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. At this moment, we continue checking on information. At this moment, let me show you the first, the next info. We have a speaking practice, and you can see we have a boy on the screen, and we have the personal, in this case, the personal information, okay? We have Luis, we have Ramirez, 15, in this case, that is an abbreviation, right? You include an abbreviation, 15 years old. Solo puse la Y y la O por el inicio de las palabras, ¿verdad? 15 years old, and I have a fictional name, a fictional phone number, right? Tengo un nombre, un número de teléfono ficticio, no le vayan a llamar a Luis porque no le va a contestar, please, right? That is a fictional number, right? Luis, we have Ramirez, 15 years old, and then I have a fictional name. At this moment, right let's check on this one we are going to practice with just no questions and the question is for you take a look at the screen is his name pablo yes it is or no it isn't tell me what is the answer is his name pablo not not no, no, it no, it isn't. No, 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 it, no isn't. it isn't, right? In this case, we use the, the pronoun it. Recordamos que estamos hablando acerca de algo. Si sí es referente a él, pero estamos hablando del nombre, ¿verdad? Y el nombre es algo, no es algo humano, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso utilizamos it. It his, is his name, Pablo. No, it isn't, right? No, it isn't. Check on the next one. Is his last name Ramirez? Ve ahí la tarjetita de identificación que tenemos. Is his last name Ramirez? Yes, is yes, it. Yes, it is, right? Yes, it is. Remember, we continue talking in this case about the last name. That is something, ¿verdad? Hablamos y hacemos referencia al apellido. Y hacemos referencia a algo, ¿verdad? No humano. Por eso utilizamos it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Check on the next one. Is he 28 years old? No. No, no. no he. No, In this case, we say he, uh, right? Perfect. En este sí utilizamos he. he. No. Mm -hmm. no, he's not. Or no, he isn't. The two versions are okay. Las dos versiones son correctas. Contracción o sin contracción. No, he isn't. And what is the correct information? ¿Cuál sería la información correcta de la edad? He is... He is... 15. 15. 15. 15 years old, right? Check on the emphasis in the final word for those numbers. 15. Because if you say 50, that is 5, 0. Right? 50. 15, 1, 5. Right? Check on that one. Check on the difference. 15, 50. All right? And now, take a look at this one. Is his phone number 77, 51, 65, 89? Yes, it no, is. No, not. it isn't. Ah, thank you. No, no, it's not. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, it's not. Thank you so much. And I need the collaboration of one person at this moment. Uh, and I need Miss Sara Guzman. Miss Sara Guzman, what is the correct phone, phone number for this person? Tell me uh, the numbers by two and two. Dígame las cifras de dos en dos de acuerdo a la personal information. Right? His phone number is. ¿Cuál es el número de la tablita? Mm -hmm. His his phone num number is. Mm -hmm. um, I can see seventy. Seventy. Se se seventy seven. Seven seventy seven. Fifty. Uh, Sixty four. E eighty nine. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Nice job. Perfect. Well done, well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is correct, that is correct. As you can see, we're asking just no questions, in this case, to make a confirmation 
about information about someone. At this moment, we are going to have more speaking practice. This is just the preparation. At this moment, we're going to work in something like this. We're going to work in pairs, right? And we are going to use new identities, right? New identities, not the correct, not the real information for this practice, right? Uh, you are going to work in pairs, and we are going to use the chat to send your new identification. What is the necessary information? A diff one name, one last name, the age, you need a number, and a phone number, similar to this one, all right? When we get into the breakup rooms, vamos a tener una práctica en las mini salas. Y para compartir la información, ¿verdad? vamos a hacer algo similar a esta práctica. We create a new identity. Vamos a crear una nueva identidad. ¿Por qué lo vamos a hacer así? Porque la información del número de teléfono es muy privada y no, no deseo que compartan toda esa información, ¿verdad? Invéntese un número, pero que tenga que acabar los ocho números, ¿verdad? No worry. And in this one, I will explain. We are going to work in the small breakup rooms. Y le voy a pedir que cuando lleguemos al breakup room, ahí vamos a utilizar el chat para compartir la información, right? We need name, no crea la oración completa, solo el nombre, tal cual como la tablita que teníamos de la persona anterior, right? Name, last name, age, and phone number. With that information, we are going to create just no questions to confirm your classmates identity right that is what we are going to do similar to the practice we did before similar a lo que hicimos usted se va a inventar ¿verdad? y en el chat vamos a hacer uso del chat you are going to to include one name o un nombre diferente al suyo invéntese un nombre tal vez el que usted siempre le gustó que le pusieran y lastimosamente no nos tocó right one name different right different al que usted ya tiene Other last name, different from the, the real one. Different al real que usted ya tiene, right? And then you say an age. Incluye un número que va a representar su edad, su nueva edad en esta identidad, right? And the last exercise or the last element is to invent a phone number, right? Are we clear about this info? ¿Estamos claros con lo que vamos a mandar en el chat cuando estemos en las salas? Name, last name, age, yes. perfect, and phone number. Different from the real one. Diferente al real, ¿verdad? No, no hay ningún problema. Invéntese, no problem. And what's the practice? We are going to ask yes, no question to make confirmation. Vamos a hacer similar a lo que tenemos acá en la, en la pantalla. Yes, no questions to confirm. In this case, the questions should be direct. Is your name, así vamos a formular, ¿verdad? Is your name, para preguntar, ¿y es tu nombre, Carlos? Como usted ya tiene una, una nueva identidad, va a decir, ah, yes, it is, or no, it isn't, right? Depending on the information, right? Is your last name, is your last name Flores? Ah, no, it isn't, or yes, it is, ¿verdad? Usted con su nueva identidad va a tomar de referencia eso para responder las preguntas que su compañero le va a hacer, ¿verdad? El objetivo de compartirla es para que nosotros también tengamos una referencia, ¿verdad? Y al final, si ya ni me acuerdo qué apellido era, ¿va? All right? So, that is the objective of the practice. Are you 20 years old, right? ¿Es usted de 20 años de edad? Uh, yes, I am, or no, I am not. You check on the chat, right? And in that no, phone number, similar, is your phone number. And then you begin, right? Te menciona decir los números de dos en dos. Que ya vimos ahí rapidito en la pronunciación de los números. All right? That is the practice about. Is there any question about what we are doing at this moment? Questions, questions? En la última okay. sería, are you? Is your phone number? Is your okay. phone number? Mm -hmm. Is your phone number? And then you read. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to work at this moment in breakup rooms, and I need your collaboration to check on this one. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to have approximately 10 minutes to work, 10 to 15 minutes approximately. And then we I am going to check on you to see how you're formulating the questions, all right? Let's get started at this moment. Thank you.
puedo conectarme a la sala. All right. Let me let me send you one more time. I will try to move you to other to other room. Let me see. Martin. Was it possible, Francisco, to join? Uh, not possible at this moment. No le salió ninguna notificación. Me salió, pero de ahí, como que no sé si fue la señora que pero me sacó. All right, all right. Let me. Let me send you to other room. Lo voy a mover a otra sala. Tal vez le sale, sale nuevamente la notificación y nos podemos incorporar. En Miss López recibió la notificación, Miss López. Roxana, Roxana López. Sí, le doy ahí en join. Join, exacto, para unirse, por favor. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Yet is isn't. Solo me, me respondería. Yes, it eh, isn't. Si es así, pero ¿y si no es así? It's not it isn't. Not it isn't. It isn't. ¿Y si fuese así? Yes. Yo sé, yo le yes, I am. Yes, it isn't. Yes, it is for the affirmative and for the ah. negative. No, it no, isn't. It isn't. Yes. Ah, ok, entonces okay. yo le respondo yes, Afirmative. Afirmative. Yes, 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 it is. Yes, it is. It is. Uh -huh. okay. it is. In negative. No. no. It isn't. It isn't. Uh -huh. It isn't. Okay. It or, isn't. Or the complete okay. form. O si usted gusta puede dar la respuesta completa. No. It is not. That is the other version. No, it is not. En uh -huh. este caso sería como la forma completa, ¿verdad? sin hacer contracción. Forma mm, completa. Okay. Me gusta no mejor esa. No, no it is form. not. All right. It gives more emphasis sometimes. Okay. Gives more emphasis. Thank you. All right. Okay. Ask on a question, right? Let's um, start and I listen to you. Thank you. Y comenzamos yes. ya o Yes, 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 okay. yes, please. Okay. Yo, yo comienzo entonces. Okay, um, perfecto. Is your name Sofía? No, it is not. All right. And in this okay. case, one suggestion. Le voy a dar una sugerencia ¿verdad? para que sigamos practicando. Uh -huh. si, la, si la respuesta es negativa, tratemos de después agregar el detalle real. O en este caso, la identidad <risa> ficcional, ¿verdad? Usted mencionó, uh -huh. no, it isn't, right? Or no, it is not. Y decimos, uh -huh. it is, ya le menciono. No es este nombre, no es Sofía, es, y ya le menciono, uh -huh. esta es la información relevante. It is, uh -huh. Entonces afirmativa. le pongo, uh -huh. is, it is, is. 
It is mi nombre completo, ¿verdad? Uh, in this case, the fictional. Yes, that's correct. Oh, so yeah, Lord, it is, is Madeline. It is Madeline. It's possible, right? It's Madeline. Mm -hmm. Pero es it is o oh, it is. Sí. La dos, eh, it, the two options are okay. It is. Right? Cualquiera de las dos puedo usar. It is. Mm -hmm. O oh, it is. Cualquiera de las dos puede usar. Perfecto. Yes. Perfecto. Right. Okay, okay. Entonces, entonces ya. <laughs> Continue. Thank you so much. Gracias. Si quieren, practicamos este, eh, los tres a la vez o, o comenzamos dos. Vaya, ¿cómo estamos? ustedes dos entonces. Eh, yo casi no se le escucha, milagro. Vaya, ¿y tu Andrés? Ah, sí, soy yo. Yes, I am. Thank you. Así es, soy Andrés. Sí, lo he recordado. Thank you. Vaya, ¿y tu last night pass? Yes, I am. Yes, it is. Ah, yes, yes, it, it is. is. Sí, perdón. Sí, Thank la you. Thank you. Yes, Perfect. Continue working. Thank you. Ya. ya estamos en clase. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Ready with the practice? Yeah. Thank you, okay. thank you. I want to listen to you. So if possible, create some questions. So I listen how you create the questions and how you give the answers, please. Okay. Si gustan, iniciamos con la práctica y así escucho cómo estamos formulando las preguntas y también cómo estamos respondiendo cuando se nos pregunta algo. All right, thank you. Okay. It's fair. Is your name Margarita? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. Margarita, ask a question. Ahora, Margarita, hágale una pregunta a su compañera. Is your last name Perez? No, it isn't. Ah, thank you, thank you. Continue working. Just a tip. Solo una sugerencia. Cuando fue, sea negativa la oración, podemos incluir el dato, per, el dato correcto. Right? No, it isn't. It is Hernández, ¿verdad? Y así complementamos okay. la información. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you. good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Is your name Medina? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y is your last name Figueroa? No, it isn't. Okay. Are are you are you twenty seven years old? No, it isn't. No, no, I am. No, I am, no. Uh -huh. yeah. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Is your is your phone number seventy seven eighty ninety one twelve? No, it isn't. Eh, Ichi, <laughs> está empezando a grabar. <laughs> Ichi, <laughs> cabal, Ichi, cell phone. Eh, espera, me voy a ver. Ichi, cell phone. 89. No, it isn't. Es ese. Ese es. Sí, ese es. Entonces, la dos sería. Yes. Ajá. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time in the practice. I was checking on some of you and you are doing a nice job asking information about yes and no questions. Thank you so much for your participation. You see today you have a new name, right? Some of you. Algunos ya tenemos un nuevo nombre, right? And, and others were confirming 
the information. Thank you, thank you. Just before we leave, I will check on the attendance. So please, when you listen to your name, make a verbal confirmation that you are part of this video conference, all right? I start, Carlos Luis Cervano. Carlos Luis Cervano. Not at this moment. Carlos Roberto Nerio. Present. Thank you. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Present. Thank you. Francisco Isaac Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Esther Ponce. Present. Thank you. Georgina Ivania Guzmán. Yes, present. Thank you. Senaida Esterli González. Present. Thank you. Guadalupe Lisset Soriano. Present. Thank you. Juan Emelina Avilés. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Present. Thank you. José Luis Gómez Guevara. Present. Thank you. Jose Moises Paz Chavarria. Present. Thank you. Jose Roberto Ruiz Duarte. Jose Roberto Ruiz Duarte. All right, I continue. Jose Roberto Vázquez Jiménez. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Julio Cesar Hernández. Julio Cesar Hernández, probably not at this time. Karina Yvonne Linares de Figueroa. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Mercedes Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. Not at this moment. Lucila Patricia Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Madeline Lisette Montalban Miranda. Present. Thank you. Margarita Lisette Medina. Present. Thank you so much. Marvin Alberto Calderón. Marvin Alberto Calderón. Not at this moment. Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez Bautista. Present. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Roxana Patricia López. Roxana Patricia López. I continue. Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Senia Patricia Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. Jancy Miranda Jacobo. Jancy Maria Jacobo. Not at this moment. And Yesenia Elizabeth Morales Garcia. Present. Right. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure for me to work with you. And let's see each other. Have a good night. And we have more practice tomorrow. Take care and continue working on the platform, please. All right. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good Take time. care. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye.